Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bling Bling Bus, and it's brought to you by Emoji. And today we have a very special guest that joining us today. Let's welcome. Hi, everyone. My name is Stella, and I'm a social media influencer. I live in KL, and I love sports. Sports. Wait a minute. What kind of sports do you like? Though? Outdoor sports. Outdoor like sports. Like hiking. Okay. And marathon. So if you guys want to know more about me, follow my IG. There you go. Okay, guys. Today's topic. We're gonna talk about a very, very fun and delicious topic. Mm. Food. Food. Yes, oh, I love food. You love food. Yes. So we are both foodies here. I believe all of us are foodies too. And get ready to give your eyes a treat and a knowledge full of feast. Okay, Blinkers, let's start this pre-cooking show because this topic, it's not for your belly, but it's for your eyes. I'm just going to ask you guys out there, what are the key ingredients uh, for a healthy eyes? What are the go-to food that you guys think that is really healthy, that is really beneficial to your eyes? Let's find out together. Okay, so first up on the menu, guys, is carrots. I think, I believe, everyone is familiar with carrots. Who doesn't know carrots? Carrots is very famous. It is very healthy. It is very beneficial. Mm. And basically like the superhero to the eyes. Stella, share some of your experience with carrots. Do you like carrots? Mm, carrots? Uh, I don't really like carrots, but yeah, I know carrots are healthy. Exactly, Stella. You should love carrot. Start from now. <laughs> <laughs> because you know why? Carrot is very rich in beta carotene mm -hmm. that turns into vitamin A. Do you know how vital and important vitamin A to your eyes is, especially for night driving and night vision? And it will give you the extra. Mm. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> it gives you the oh. pat, you know? Mm. Yeah, because, okay. Mm. So, like, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with that because I have difficulty with night vision. So right. as a KOL, I attend a lot of events and shooting as well. You know, shooting takes like long hours, exactly. 10 to 12 hours. Understand. So I have, I wearing contact lens like all the day. So 12 hours is really affect my eyes, like really dry eyes. So when I go back home, I drive late night, uh, affect my... Affect your vision. Yeah. So I totally get where, uh, where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Because if you wear prolonged hours of contact oh, lens, nice. usually 12, sometimes I think for you more than 12 hours sometimes, right? So it could lead to dry eyes. And fun facts, blinkers, dry eyes could lead to blurred vision. And again, when we talk about carrots and it's packed with better carotene and Co vitamin A. Vitamin a yeah. So if you don't have sufficient vitamin A and better carotene for your eyes, you will face problem like Stella. <laughs> <laughs> when you drive at night, it's it's going to pose a threat and it's quite dangerous, right? If you can't see. Yeah, especially nighttime and raining day. Exactly. So you want to be safe. You want to get your job done, get that money, get that bag, <laughs> get that bag, you know, get that money and be safe. Yeah, I know you guys don't like carrot like me, but carrot is very important for eyes because it contains vitamin A and it will help you for healthy eye regions and of course, prevent night blindness. Wow, you heard about that too? Yeah, okay, yeah. I have to start eat carrots Carrots now. now. Yeah. Right, okay guys, <laughs> again, listen to what Stella say. Although you guys don't like carrot, studies shows carrot over time, if you consume it uh, as early as possible, it can prevent night blindness, okay? And to top it off guys, apart from carrots, if you guys don't like carrots like Stella, mm -hmm. do not worry, I got you covered. You can also eat seafood like shrimp and crab, uh, which is packed with vitamin A. You always have the options. So do not give excuse, oh, okay, I don't like carrots, I don't have to eat carrots. Mm -hmm. You can always find other alternative to get those vitamin A. Because nowadays, our lifestyle, our work requires us to sometimes stay up late at night. Yeah, like me. <laughs> like, like Stella, okay? So, eat your carrots, guys, and your seafood. We are then talking about seafood, right? Yeah. I love fish, especially tuna, salmon, they are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, exactly. So speaking about omega, uh, omega three, uh, they are very good for the nourishment of the eye. Uh, it can maintain the moisture uh, by how it can reduce dry eyes. Uh, there are some studies shows backup evidence studies that omega three is very rich in uh, moisture to lubricate the eyes. So get those moisture in, and especially for you, Stella, you always wear contact lens, right? Yeah. I can see. Is it what a brown color? Yeah, yeah, brown color. Brown color. Nice, right? Nice. It's very nice. <laughs> yes. So for those who wear contact lenses. Omega-3 from seafood is very important. Like I've said, it can reduce dry eyes, retain the moisture much more longer. So it can, over the, over the long period of time, it can reduce and help to alleviate the discomfort of the eyes. Because mm. sometimes, do you, sometimes when you wear contact lens for too long, do you feel discomfort? Yeah, right? so I bring my uh, eye drop all the time. Yes, yeah, especially yes. after my shoot for night drive, right? I have to bring my contact lens all the time. Ex so I have to put on like one to two drop to make me feel, uh, my eyes feel refreshed. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're a contact lens wearer and sometimes you don't have the time to always put eye drops, mm -hmm. eat your seafood. It could help you to uh, uh, retain the moisture longer and fun facts guys and Stella mm -hmm. if you have an adequate amount of seafood in your eyes some study shows it can help to prevent the progression of cataracts have you heard of cataracts oh, before yeah. my, my dad has cataracts yeah, yeah your dad has cataracts yes, yes. interesting yeah how does he know that he has cataracts is it like his vision is not uh, that. Was your, uh, the vision is like very blur blurry. And then he... He went for surgery. Right. Yeah. Is it both eyes or just one oh, eye? One eyes. One eyes. Yeah. Okay. But it's fine now. La. Now it's fine. Yeah. So get your eyes checked, guys. The eye... Uh, so also, uh, why we ask you to eat a lot of seafood? Mm -hmm. Because the antioxidants in the seafood itself could protect against the oxidative stress that could prevent the progression of the cataract fast. So that's why get your seafood in, guys. Yeah. yeah. FYI, guys, the antioxidants that found in seafood could prevent the progression of oxidative stress. So this could lead to reduce the progression and risk of cataracts. So that's why we highly recommend to get your daily dose of seafood. Yes, guys, so prevention is better than cure. So start eating seafood like fish, prawn, or carrots. Exactly, I agree with you, Stella. We need to eat a lot of seafood and carrots, carrots. although she doesn't like that. <laughs> Apart from seafood and carrots, do not worry. Again, we got you covered. If you don't like seafood, if you don't like carrots, carrots. we have leafy greens. Vegetables. Vegetables. Yeah. So, but vegetables, we recommend you the type of vegetables, uh, something like kale, spinach, broccoli. Those are the good vegetables. And why I recommend that? Because it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love broccoli too. <laughs> you love broccoli yeah. too, right? And those vegetables can protect our eyes against any related vision issues. I know those vegetables, some of you be like, Dan, those vegetables that you mentioned, it's a bit pricey. Oh, really? Broccoli, kale and spinach. I mean, if you go to uh, grocery, like grocery mm -hmm. store, the prices are on the higher side. Mm -hmm. I do understand, but we, we, start, we need to start to invest in our eyes. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you can buy a designer bag, designer clothes, designer shoes, <laughs> why can't you buy designer vegetables? vegetables. <laughs> Those, we, we, we like to to put it in the category, these are the, the bougie vegetables, the rich vegetables. So start buying them and have them in your fridge. Uh, apart from vegetables, actually in my fridge, most of it uh, I have is fruits. Okay, what yeah. type of fruit? Tell them. Mm, berries, strawberries is my favorite. Talking about uh, blueberries, other than it's yummy, of course, it's also rich in antioxidants, can reduce eye strains and improve eye versions. Like for me, I eat like once or twice a week for blueberry and also my dog. Yeah, so I feed him like, uh, yeah, we eat together once or twice a week <laughs> that for is blueberries. Cute. That is yeah. cute. <laughs> good, good, good owner. So anyone that have, you know, start treating your dogs right. Feed them blueberries, okay? And speaking of uh, eye strain, what mm -hmm. Stella mentioned, I'm pretty sure 
you as a KOL, right? Yeah. You probably dealt with a lot of computers, cameras, Especially phone. We do editing. Exactly. Yes, editing take up a lot of time. One so, or two hour daily. So to edit a video. So that's why these blueberries are very beneficial to KOL out there too. Okay, guys, get your blueberries. So not just KOL in general. Everyone who use gadget. So to reduce eye strain, you can always and a must have blueberries, fruits, berries family in your diet. Okay. And speaking of antioxidants, did you guys know that blueberries also rich in anthocyanins? Uh, why did I mention this? Is because this anthocyanins is could help a uh, a good blood circulation in your eyes so when the blood circulation is good your vision is good so get those berries in the diet right stella yeah okay now that we know what food nourishes our eyes we're going to move to the next segment which is the recipe for healthy vision or i like to term it our cookbook i would just like to ask the audience in the out there right so we want to hand out the ultimate eye care cookbook, you know, from breakfast to dinner. Are you oh, ready, Stella, to yeah. share your your kitchen your kitchen hacks? Interesting topic. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you eat mostly for breakfast? Mm, I think they I think they want to know. Breakfast. So for my breakfast, usually I prepare overnight oat. Oh, okay. And milk. Nice. Yeah. Simple. Simple, right? Because so uh, uh, because morning I don't have much time. I rush to work, so a simple breakfast we do. Like okay, so how do you prepare overnight oats? Interesting. I love overnight oats, but I don't have the time to very you know to be meticulous to prepare all the layers. I think it's very very too too much step. Could you no, like tell? It's no, it's very easy. Is it? No, it's very how, easy. Like, and how do you uh, prepare? Usually, it? I put like uh, of course oat is the main main thing for overnight oat and okay. of, uh, berries. My favorite uh, banana. Mm, strawberry. Actually, you can put any fruit that you like. Just put it inside and then just place it in the fridge for like uh, a day. And then the next day, you just take out and then you just eat. Right. It's very simple. Right. Speaking about banana, right? mm. I love banana. So, Ooh, do you put a lot uh, of bananas? Uh, no, I put a lot of berries because <laughs> I don't really like banana. Why? Banana is really good. I don't like yellow fruit like banana, pineapple, jackfruits. Yeah, they are yellow. <laughs> 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 are you like a fruit a fruit discrimination right no, now? A fruit no, racist? No, no. You don't like yellow fruits? No, I just accidentally I mean I, I just I don't know, I just don't like the taste. I, I prefer like berries, uh strawberries. Are you racist? No, of course. <laughs> 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 so but uh, like honestly I could understand we like we we like we have our own preference. Yeah. But personally I love banana. I could eat banana every day, every second. Oh. <laughs> so moving on, after we had our breakfast, we have lunch. Lunch. Like what is your go-to lunch? Like? My go-to lunch uh, usually uh, I like pork bowl. You know pork bowl, oh. kubis and kill. I love it. I love fish bowl. Bowls. You I know love. you. I get really happy when I eat this kind of food. It's I, like very colorful. I know it's but like it's very pretty. Yeah. It's like everything is organized yes, yes. and everything. So I I get it. Uh, poke bowl. Uh, it consists so many kind of food. They have seafood. They have vegetables. They have fruits. Yes, eggs. Eggs. Chia seed. Chia seed. Yeah. So that is very very good. Not just for eyes, but for overall health. Yeah, yeah and apart from that, uh, other than poke bowl for lunch, we could also have salad. Ooh. Salad. I think salad. It's pretty much easy to make. I believe uh, most of us have the notion we try to avoid greens in our menu in our diet, but try not to because, as we explained in the previous segment, vegetables that are very high in lutein and zeaxanthine that's very very good for your eyes, guys. But I feel salad not filling for me. Like, do you know you could customize your salad? You oh. could put those extra different sauces, condiments to make it and you could put some chia seeds too to make it more interesting and delicious. Who said healthy things could not be delicious? So be creative in your diet so that you could enjoy your food and get those nutrients in your eyes. Moving on, after we had breakfast, 
lunch we have dinner and supper dinner this girl now I, supper? I, I, I now I'm on diet though so oh, I try okay. to cut down my <laughs> supper okay so yeah now I know you're a true foodie mm -hmm. she she uh, which okay so what do you have for your dinner though mm. for me dinner of course rice mm -hmm. meat mm -hmm. rice meat and vegetables yeah. great they those are the food when you mentioned that right mm -hmm. I it instantly clicked in my mind that and those are the food that are rich in protein yeah and uh and uh, healthy carbs you you can still enjoy rice chicken at the same time at the same time yeah. and it's still healthy right other than let's say if cooking rice it's too because I, I think you are so busy these days right with jobs yeah. and stuff sometimes you don't have enough time to cook a proper meal mm -hmm. like a full-fledged meal yes because you don't cook she don't cook guys yeah. okay <laughs> she don't cook so uh what other alternative i think uh that we could replace chicken rice because it's gonna take some time so i recommend the easiest way i mean the easiest food that you can cook that is packed with protein is eggs what do you think Ooh, yeah i love right? eggs you love eggs yes what type of eggs half boy egg. half boy eggs scramble eggs scramble eggs omelette omelette okay i think that's it that's it yeah so and <laughs> th that is so easy to make like you can just put pop up mm. and cook like within what a minute or so and it's ready it's easy to cook and it's very packed with protein protein now now that stella have shared her kitchen hacks so as an as an influencer it's good it's good to know that uh, as a busy person mm -hmm. We could still maintain healthy, right? We could still have those highly dense packed nutrients food. Uh, so no excuse, right? Yeah, as a busy person, you cannot forgetting like eat healthy food. You can just uh, grab and go like poke, uh, poke bowl, fish bowl, cubies and kill. You can just go to the shop and then just grab it. It's very easy. But you know, uh, healthy food is expensive then. I know, but <laughs> like I said, we need to invest in uh, healthy food because it's going to serve as benefit in the long run. We want to be healthy until we're 50, 60, 70, yeah. right? So if you can invest and if you can buy those designer handbags and those expensive clothes, clothes why cannot you invest in your eyes? Yeah. Right? So guys, preventing is better than cure. Exactly. Prevention, like Stella always said, Prevention is better than cure. Also, do not forget these very, very important things, which is water. water. So, water, guys, cheers. Cheers. Do not. Mm. <laughs> do not forget to drink your water. water. Water, I think this is the most inexpensive and free things that you could use to get those nutrients in it helps with the skin and with the vision water also can uh, cure our puffiness eyes swollen eyes oh panda eyes and of course for our skin as well exactly so yeah you have a very nice skin oh thank you yeah. drink more water guys. drink drink more water so for those who will be like dan stella you always recommend us the expensive things to maintain our eye health Water is here guys, so do not forget to get those liquid in, get the sufficient water in to maintain your overall health. At the end of the day, you don't want to just focus on one aspect. Focus on holistically, you know, take all the goodness therein from the nature and put those inside your body, okay? The key takeaways mm -hmm. here from today's delicious, delicious topics is that we are what, what we eat, eat. Yes. exactly you know like you know that too yeah. right so that it reflects back on your appearance if you eat healthy things if you put good things inside of your body it will shows mm -hmm. okay do not forget also to invest in your eyes where always get the best of things for your eyes like food you know a good pair of spectacles okay and again have a proper Tired. exactly that is the key here and that's a wrap guys thank you for tuning in to bling bling bus this is me dan this is me stella signing out don't forget to like share and subscribe 
Bye! Bye.